So guys, finally one of the most popular Android ROM Lineage OS is back with its new updates. This is Lineage OS 20 based on latest Android 13. So if you install this ROM, you'll be first one to upgrade to Android 14 whenever it's available. Now this Android ROM is available for plenty of Android phones. And in this video, we are going to talk about what's good about this ROM, what's not so good about this ROM. So make sure you watch this video till end if you want to know how this custom OS can affect your battery life and your gaming performance. So let's get started. So first of all, if you are the kind of guy who don't like your stock OS, whether it's be MIUI or Samsung OS or Moto OS or any other phone you're using, and if you want to have a pixel experience in your phone, just install Lineage OS because now it's back with nightly update. Now, if you don't know what nightly update is, it means Lineage is providing updates every day. So if you install this ROM and there is a bug, most probably it will be fixed in next update. Now, why Lineage OS over other Android ROMs? This is one of the oldest and most trusted Android ROMs out there. Once you install this, you don't need to go anywhere else. This can be your one installed ROM for life. And to enjoy Lineage OS, you don't need to buy any expensive phone. You can use any Android phone you want. I'm personally using 3 year old phone and that's the main point of installing Lineage OS that you can have latest Android with new feature in any Android phone. Even when Android 14 will be launched, you don't have to wait for your manufacturer to release update for your phone, which normally they don't because they want you to buy new phone every year. So in the about section, let me show you this is indeed running Lineage OS with the latest security patch of September 5. As you can see, it's running Android 13 with the stock kernel, perf kernel. Now when you go to home screen, this is the default launcher you get when you install Lineage OS. It's called Tribution Launcher. It's a very lightweight and amazing launcher. As you can see, you get all the features you require and also you can hide or password protect your app. In my opinion, that's really good because you don't need to install any third party app for that. And this time more than ever, Lineage OS is focusing more on privacy as you can see, you can see this trust tab in the privacy menu, especially this restrict USB feature. Now with this, you can deny all the connection from USB in case your phone is stolen. And of course, with the custom room, you can control your privacy. And I think that's one of the reason I install rooms. And now let's talk about gamers. The gaming performance in this room is really good because this room uses the minimum RAM of your device. It works in your favor while you're gaming. And also Lineage OS has optimized display refresh rate according to your gaming need. In the display tab, as you can see, it's called smooth display. So it will automatically convert your 60 Hz display into 120 Hz. And when you're not gaming, it will go back to 60 Hz, saving your battery life. So now let's talk about battery life. With Lineage OS, I saw major difference in MIUI versus Lineage OS. I got two hours of extra screen on time and I got four hours of extra standby time. And there is no suspicious background activity going on in your phone. You will definitely have more battery life. Now let's talk about what's not good in this room. First of all, there is no kernel support because this time we are using Lineage OS custom recovery instead of TWRP or some other custom recovery. If you're mainly into gaming, then this ROM is not for you. You will have to install some gaming dedicated custom ROM. And because this is Lineage OS, it does not have that many features like other ROMs. And if you want to see how to install Lineage OS video in any phone, please make sure you comment down below and I will see you tomorrow.